Well, they have been controversial and costly, but four years after work began, all 26 miles of the I-77 express lanes are set to open, which could really make a difference on your daily commute. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Genevieve Curtis. Channel Lines' Aaron Edwards joins us live right now from the newest section of lanes between 485 and 277. Aaron, officials said all of the lanes were supposed to open at 8 o'clock tonight, but some are still closed. Yeah, Genevieve, they said they would be open, but not all of them are open right now. Take a look. Uh, they they're working to open them. It looks like what from what we can see on the road. Now this comes on the exact day construction started in 2015 and now four years and millions of dollars later, those lanes are set to open tonight. After four years of construction, construction on the 77 toll lane project will begin in the Lake Norman area within a month. Months of delays. The toll lanes are scheduled to be complete by the end of 2018. And millions of dollars in late fees. The fine is $10,000 per day per unfinished section. All 26 miles of I-77 are finally open. Well, that's great. It's fantastic. I mean, all the traffic that we've had around here, I mean, it's going to be so much easier. For drivers coming from the north, it's a relief. We come from Mooresville, to be able to come into Uptown is going to be fantastic. Dynamic toll pricing will start in two weeks on December 1st. Those fluctuating prices will depend on the trip length, time of day, and demand for express lanes. NCDOT released a statement reading in part, quote, We encourage drivers who choose to use the lanes to allow extra time to get used to the new travel option. Although the lanes are open, there may still be some work going on in this area, so drivers need to use caution. The little bit they opened up ahead of time, we saw a big difference already in our traffic patterns, so, so we're happy with it. That's good. Although the lanes are open, as long as that work's going on, Sintra will face fines. Right now, they're being fined $30,000 a day, and that's added up to $6.6 .6 million so far. Now, we don't know exactly when all of the construction will be finished. And as for those fines, our Joe Bruno has been following along with those late fees, and you can find daily updates on his Twitter page, and you can learn more about how much these tows will cost you on our WSOC TV News app. Genevieve. All right, Aaron, and it certainly has not been an easy road to get here. We've covered hazards from the construction for years. Just last month, we discovered plenty of outlying issues that could be dangerous for drivers, like unpaved roads, uneven lanes, ghost markings, and ruts. A woman sued the construction company, claiming she was seriously hurt when an employee pulled out in front of her, causing a crash. Then there was this camper that flipped and crashed in the toll lanes this summer. The driver blamed the uneven pavement. There were also issues once lanes open. Last month, we told you 11.2 million trips on the state's three toll projects, the Triangle Expressway, Monroe Expressway, and the I-77 Express lanes were not paid on time. Also, troopers are also cracking down on drivers using the lanes as HOV lanes without enough passengers. Now, you can use that lane for free, but you have to have at least three people in the car. You can find more information on the toll lanes, including more of our previous coverage on our WSOC News app. Just click on this story.